couple of years ago I have made this tutorial where I have shown how to connect Bluetooth speaker to your desktop PC without any Bluetooth chip and aux cable. In that video, I have got lots of love, lots of support. So thanks a lot for the support. In this video, this is gonna be the upgraded tutorial of that video. So here I am going to use two methods. First, I will connect my desktop to the Bluetooth speaker using a Bluetooth chip or USB Bluetooth card. And then in the second part of this video, I will use the same thing without using any kind of Bluetooth chip. And in previous video, I have used mobile hotspot. So in this video, I am going to use a router, Wi-Fi router. So let's get started. So we first of all have a Bluetooth speaker so just power on your desktop and power on your speaker then change the mode of your speaker using input button to the Bluetooth searching mode. If you change and click the input button then in the display you will see the BT is blinking. BT is blinking means it has turned to the searching mode and then we have to use this kind of USB Bluetooth trans receiver. This is stereo Bluetooth trans receiver, and this has two functions: transmission function and as well as receiving function. And there is the 3.5 mm output or a point. So it will also give you a aux cable with this device if you buy from the Best Buy link in the description. So you have to connect the 3.5 mm jack one side into the Bluetooth output socket, and then another 3.5 mm to the normal desktop outlet from 3.5 mm studio jack or whatever coming out the green port of your computer desktop just connect it and if you are thinking that trans receiver two mode is there but there is no software no driver no button is there so how you can change to transmission mode to receiving mode you have to plug and play and if you want to suppose changing from transmission mode to receiving mode just you have to plug and eject plug and eject twice within 5 seconds it will change the normal state that means if the blue light is blinking on this device then it is receiving mode so you have to plug and play two times then it will change to the transmission mode so the simple thing is that very fast in twice within 5 seconds you have to couple of times insert and eject insert and eject so it will change transmission to receiver make sure red light is blinking red light identifies that this device has now changed to the transmission mode let's enjoy the sound So the first method was very simple just plug and play and enjoy the sound the second method is gonna be tricky because we are going to use without any chip and we have to use any kind of Wi-Fi router so how you can do this here you can see you have to use one another mo Android mobile via Android mobile we, we are going to route the audio so how you can do it so first of all we have to download this software it is available in Windows 10 Windows XP Linux and as well as Raspberry Pi 2 or 3 version so I will give the download link of that this is a PC client so PC server mainly this is soundware server so this file you have to install in your desktop PC and next I will give another file of Android APK and do not download from their official Android because it is gonna be paid app so I will give the paid app for free link in the description where you can download it and enjoy installing your android mobile so first of all i am going to show you in the linux so there will be tar.gz or any kind of archive zip file will be given for the linux then just extract it in the extracted folder you will get some other files but the setting icon on the soundware server main file application file you have to double click and open before that you have to make sure the 5901 and 5901 
two ports are open but I have disabled the firewall so I do not have to open that port so just open and before that pulse audio audio volume control PAV control is gonna be installed so this is freely available in your software resource any kind of Debian Ubuntu Linux Mint anywhere so just download the pulse audio volume control so the first of all install the application whatever I've given the link soundware mobile application apk full version free then open it and you have to do something there so server is means basically you have to give the server ip what is showing after in the pc client so basically the pc ip address you have to give but another setting is there in the soundware mobile apk you have to give a name you can give it any name suppose i am giving my channel name some tips you can give any name whatever name you will give here in the setting of your android app it will be shown in the pc then the choose the buffer side the lower buffer will give you lower latency but the higher buffer will give the highest quality so if your sound is cracking just change it to the higher so basic 128 kbps is very good then you have to connect to the hotspot create your mobile hotspot or you have to connect your home Wi-Fi where I am going to use the TP link so I have to connect the TP link Wi-Fi router so the router is connected via Ethernet to the computer but I have to connect to the Wi-Fi via mobile to that particular router so the all the devices will be in the same network so it is connected then you have to put the IP address of that computer what is what showing in the PC client or PC server of the soundware or you can automatically just click and it will be automatically fetch so if automatic not working click manual so it is now connected and soundware icon has been now colorful so it is now connected so here you can see when you not connected red color disconnected button will be showing or text will be showing as soon as you connected green connected to then device name like some tips it is showing here so when it is green that's mean your soundware is activated and ready to use so how you can use everything has been set up just open any kind of VLC player or any Chrome or online YouTube whatever sound is coming out it is going to be routed to your device first and then it is going to be routed to the Bluetooth speaker because your device is connected to Bluetooth and this is the Windows version Windows version is another very simple just double click the exe file and then select the device if you are real sound card or any kind of USB sound card whatever sound card is there just select the default sound card which audio you want to listen via Bluetooth speaker so when it is activated or any kind of VLC media file is running background then green bar will be up and down the sound is working so everything is now fine you have to just connect to the mentioned IP in here and your green text will come out that connected to that device so also Windows is also set up Linux is also set up so now I am going to connect real time from the mobile and I am going to show you the video how it will be when you are playing from desktop. Let's enjoy this. If you are still watching this video then one bonus tip for you that if you do not have any kind of bluetooth speaker but you have to play audio from pc then you can use your mobile speaker so you just have to disable the bluetooth from your mobile and all the audio will be played via mobile speaker here you can see
so do let me know in the comment section did you find this video helpful or not and don't forget to subscribe some tips like this video share this video i'm going to meet you in my next video very soon till then goodbye stay safe